Good morning. Thank you. That worked really well. I appreciate your excitement and enthusiasm for Awards Day and the last school day. I also appreciate the fact that as a part of that excitement, I heard some of you singing, which was great. So welcome to Awards Day, welcome to the last day of school, welcome to nearly the first day of summer. This whole year, we've been focusing on God is. So God is everywhere. God is real. God is compassionate. God is with us. God is creative. God is love. God is active. God is risen. God is forever. Every month, we focused on a characteristic of God. What I tell, what I tell you right now is that you too are real. And I've seen you be compassionate and creative and embody love and active especially when I talk a little bit too long during chapel I see you get a little bit wiggly and active but I love that about you but I also want to say this about you that you are also forever that seems a little weird because I don't live forever but you do there's a beautiful verse in 1 Peter 5 verse 4 it describes Jesus as a great shepherd. And Peter says, when Christ the great shepherd appears, that we will receive a crown of glory that never fades away. And that's an award day that's better than all awards day combined. And that's an award day that we will get an award that will last forever because you are forever. And you were made to live with God we were all made to live with God forever. You've also been gifted in so many special ways. I have seen some of you perform on the field or perform on the stage. I have not seen you. I've seen two of you perform at home, but I haven't seen many of you actually perform at home. But some of you have these secret talents and gifts that you don't actually let out of the house. Today is a special day where we don't recognize everybody's special gifts and everybody's special talents, but we recognize just a few. And they're all around school and what happens at school. And so we'll recognize people with, um, for reading and for math and for PE and for music and for Spanish and for computer. And for library through AR, Accelerated Reader, and Mustang Promise. So those are the kind of awards that we're going to hand out today. And not everybody's going to get an award. But I want you to know that you are all special and that you all have gifts. So before we begin awards day, and I hand it off to pre-K, I want to recognize two teachers who is, this is sort of their last official awards day, <laughs> and as a reward, they get to retire. <laughs> so I would love for Miss C and Miss Shinger to stand up and for us to give them a round of applause for their service. Pre-K, you guys can come on up. If you'll notice, that was not an award for Miss C and Miss Shinger, an award for reading or for math, but really it was an award of love and appreciation. Thank you, Miss C, and thank you, Miss Shinger. Good morning, boys and girls. I'm Mrs. Austin, and I am a pre-K teacher, and in pre-K, we only have one friend with perfect attendance in the whole pre-K this year, and we would like to give that award to Adri Cottingham. Thank you. 
And in pre-K, the only other award that we give is called the Mustang Promise Award. And in pre-K, we give this for being honest and kind, being trustworthy and being a good friend, somebody that likes to share, somebody that likes to help. And in my class this year, in Miss Austin's pre-K, I have one boy and one girl receiving the Mustang Promise Award. So I would like to give Avalyn Godsnell the Mustang Promise Award. <laughs> And our gentleman in Miss Austin's pre-K class is Lawson Pendergrass. Good morning, I'm Mary Glenn Hollingsworth and I also teach pre-K. And this is my first year at Lipscomb and it's been great. It's been a growing year and I'm really excited to announce um, the boy and girl who got the Mustang Promise in our class. Um, Keegan O'Brien received the Mustang Promise, um, and he couldn't be here today. And then the girl that receives the Mustang Promise is Claire Robichaud. Good morning. I'm Emily Hammond, and I'm going to present the Mustang Promise Award to the two um, friends in my class, and so the first one goes to Kate Simpson. <laughs> and Brady Watson. morning and kindergarten is very similar to pre-k we give perfect attendance in each class and we also give a Mustang promise for a boy and a girl in every class and similar to pre-k it goes along with our Mustang promise that we say every morning we look for a student that is kind and honest and just treats others the way they want to be treated so I'm going to give my perfect attendance award first and I have two students in my classroom that had perfect attendance, Benji Couts. <laughs> and also Caleb Smith had perfect attendance. And then for my Mustang Promise Award, for the girl, is awarded to Evie Millimackie. And for the boy in my class, it's Jack Rosenthal. Good morning, I'm Becky Collins, I teach kindergarten, and my class has learned a great deal about sharing this year. We've shared a lot of germs, so I don't have any perfect attendance. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but I have some sweet Mustang Promise Awards, and really I could have given it to anyone, but I had to choose, so my young lady is Kerrigan Carter. And my gentleman is Caden Callendine. So sweet to see how um, all the friends are encouraging one another. My name's Megan Thompson, and I had one with perfect attendance this year, and that's Madeline Lunsford. And then my Mustang Promise Award for the girl goes to Zoe Choi. And my boy goes to Gentry Wright.
Um, I've been asked by Penny C to um, do this for her since it takes her a little while to get up here. I've kind of been her legs this year. So um, this is for pre-first, pre-first awards. Perfect attendance goes to Rachel Bailey. And Ben Talent. And the Mustang Promise, we have, uh, these are Penny's words, we have an exceptional group of pre-first graders this year. Each one of them has shown Christ-like character in so many ways. In pre-first, the Mustang Promise means doing the best we can to act like Jesus in every circumstance, in every situation, every day, and with everyone. This year, the pre-first grade Mustang Promise Awards go to Morgan Mears, and Ben Talent. Good morning. I am Melanie Gall, and in first grade, we've had several friends who have been here every day this year. So in my class, I have two friends who have perfect attendance, Joshua Hollis and Jacob Touchstone. Good morning, I'm Cynthia Harvey, and for perfect attendance, we have Caleb Thorpe. <laughs> and Megan Flanagan. I'm Dana Woodard, and I have three friends that have been here every day this year. Chase Hollings. <laughs> Carter Stewart. <laughs> and Ryan Grace Whitefeld. The Mustang Promise Award is given to a boy and a girl from each class in first grade. Each morning our children recite this promise which says, this is the day the Lord has made. Today I promise to be honest and respectful, to treat others the way I want to be treated, to be like Jesus, and to please God in everything I do. This award is given to a boy and a girl that demonstrates this promise on a daily basis. They demonstrate Jesus to their classmates and to their teachers. The neat part about receiving this award is that it is voted on by their classmates, which means their classmates selected each one because they believe the following students best represented our Mustang Promise this year. From my class, the boy is Corbin Bornstein. <clears throat> And for the first time, I had a tie for the girls this year, and both girls represent the, the Mustang Promise Award. So if I could have Evelyn Watlington and Lila Beth Engel.
the Mustang promised in Mrs. Harvey's room till our girl goes to Allie McCormick. And to our boy in our classroom, Will Daniel. Okay, from my class, my girl is Kate Harrington. And my boy is William Watlington. Good morning. I am Susan McCollum, one of the second grade teachers, and we had lots of friends with perfect attendance. So I'm going to do the whole second grade. So Ella Bramlett, come on down. <laughs> Jensen Cunningham. Gregory Durant. Glenn Richardson. <laughs> Hudson Roller. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Lauren Rush. <laughs> Brody Shaw. Alicia Thomas. J.D. Touchstone. Danny Vance. And our last friend is Becca Woodruff. My name is Wanda Lynn, and I teach second grade. I get the pleasure of passing out the Mustang Promise Award, and it's the one that is the most near and dear to my heart. And to be like Jesus are some of the words that are in that, and to be like Jesus, and it doesn't get much better than that. And I do love the fact that our children vote for each other so they see this quality in their friends and that just even makes it more special and I'll have to say that when my class voted I couldn't have agreed more. These are the children from Miss McCollum's class, Mary Catherine Hall and Luke Jackson. These are from Miss Robinson's class, and Miss Robinson had a tie. Jalen Ferguson. <laughs> Madden Merritt. <laughs> and Glenn Richardson. Claire Welch. <laughs> I 
This is from Miss Langford's class, Ella Bramlett and Izana. Oh, and this is my class. I had a tie with my girls. Ruby Walton. And Cassie Callis. And my boy is Weston Lowry. Good morning. I'm Regina Lankford, one of the second grade teachers, and I'm going to be giving awards for the boys and girls for the reading award in each class. Today, Kirian Hardy cannot be with us, but he has that recognition for Mrs. Robinson's class. Let's give Kirian a hand. In my class, Houston Fulks. Danny Vance. In Miss uh, McCullum's room, I'm sorry. And Miss Lynn's class, Jensen Cunningham. Good morning, I'm Leslie Robinson and I get to present the entire second grade math award. In Ms. McCollum's room, Daniel Jasper. In Ms. Lynn's room, Hunter Brandt. In Miss Langford's room, Dawson Schmutz. And in my classroom, Nicholas Duke. All right, I'll be calling the perfect attendance for third grade. Uh, in Ms. Smith's room, we have Natalia Segovia. And also Chidi Joe Nwanko. In Mr. Adams' room, we have Nate Morton. And also Christian Lee. Mr. Chisholm's room, Jack Hostetler. <laughs> Levi Marshall. Ellie Grace Sadler. And Bennett Whitefield. The third grade math awards, these are kids you can count on. <laughs> Miss Sanders class, Matthew Clay. <laughs> Miss Smith's room, Ethan Broom. <laughs> Mr. Chisholm's class, 
Talon Loza. In my class, not here today, Keegan White. And in the third grade reading award for Mr. Adams' room goes to Luke Masterson. In Miss Smith's room, Lauren Lilly. In Miss Sanders' room, Harrison Keel. In Mr. Chisholm's room, Bennett Whitefield. The Mustang Promise Awards in Miss Smith's room, there was a tie. Victoria Winter. <laughs> Callie Cummings. and Kyle Davidson. <laughs> Miss Sanders' room, Kate Bishop. <laughs> Eli Sheehan. In Mr. Chisholm's room, Abby Miller. <laughs> Bennett Whitefield. In my class, uh, not here today, Keegan White. and Katie Woodard. Adam's family, you're waiting for this moment. Secret results of the secret ballot, tie of the year, the Moses tie. And with that, we're done. Hello, I am Beth Lafferty, I teach fourth grade, and I am handing out the Perfect Attendance Awards today. And we're gonna start with Ellie Daniels. A Peeway Harston. <laughs> Allie Nixon. Christian Staggs, Coburn Walton, and Garrett Warner. Good morning, my name is Sarah Williamson and I'm one of the fourth grade teachers. I have the pleasure of presenting the Mustang Promise Award for fourth grade this morning. You've heard what it stands for and I'd just like to add that in addition to seeing these children be like Jesus in the classroom, we were fortunate to get to see them be like Jesus outside of the classroom this year with our partnership with Safe Haven Family Shelter. And so I want you parents to know that they are taking it out into the world and we're really proud of them. From Miss Lafferty's room, the girl goes to Madison Long. And the boy goes to Luke Green.
In Miss Nash slash Papillon's class, the girl goes to Rachel Ferguson. And the boy goes to Brooke Stevenson. And lastly, in my class, the girl goes to Kate Grogan. And the boy goes to Keon Wright. Good morning. I am Miss Papillon, standing in for Miss Christy Nash. And today I'm presenting the fourth grade reading and math awards for outstanding achievement in these two areas. From Ms. Williamson's class, J.P. Chaffin for the Reading Award. Also for the Reading Award, in Ms. Lafferty's class, Francis Tanner. From Ms. Papillon and Ms. Nash's class, the reading award goes to Abby Whitman. The next award is the math award from the fourth grade. From Ms. Lafferty's class, the math award goes to Max Thweet. For Ms. Williamson's class, the math award goes to Mia King. And from Ms. Papillon and Ms. Nash's class, the math award goes to David Choi. Good morning. My name is Melissa Collins, and um, we're gathering all the special area teachers up now. It's time for the special area awards. I think the other special area teachers would agree with me that it is extremely difficult to select only a few students to receive these awards. Um, I think about how many fantastic children we have and all the different gifts that they bring to the table. And personally, I have observed so many little musicians in the making. Um, however, we do have to choose one per grade, and this year I chose based on my personal observation of some children who just were very, very enthusiastic participants every week in music. Of course, strong ability, talent, and also just that spark that I noticed in them that made them want to achieve just a little bit more. So this year in music, uh, for pre-K, the award goes to Camden Johns. Kindergarten, Ari Smith. Pre-first, Brooklyn Lowry. First grade, Josie Broadway. Second grade, Samuel McDougald. Third grade, Charlie Poling. And fourth grade, Kate Grogan. Thank you. Hi, I am Coach Ezel. Uh, Coach C is at the 
uh, Boys and Girls State Track Meet, so he can't be here this morning. So I'm going to pass out our PE awards this year. Our PE awards go off a couple things. Uh, your physical skills day, but more importantly, your, your attitude, sportsmanship, and all those things that we do in class. So it's kind of a, a whole year, end of the year uh, look, and that's what this award will be for. So we'll have it for each grade level. When you come up, if you could just stand down the line, and we'll, we'll give you a big round of applause at the end. Okay, so stay up here as soon as you get your award. Pre-K, Cash Rich and Lawson Marks. Yeah, thank you. Kindergarten, Reed Bostick and Anna Williams. Pre-first, Ben Talent and Brooklyn Lowry. First grade, Josh Hollis, Joanna Lai. Second grade, Nicholas Duke and Jensen Cunningham. Third grade, Madden Williams and Ainsley Whitman. And fourth grade, Keon Wright and Kate Rogan. Uh, one more time, your 2015 PE Award winners. Buenos dias. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, I'm Robin Rosh. The kids know me as Senora Rosh, and I teach Spanish. And um, I would like to, uh, what I've done throughout the year is make a little note or a star by a student's name. They didn't know I was doing this. Anytime they spoke Spanish to me or responded in the right way, showed an especially excited uh, attitude towards Spanish or, or did other things that made them stand out in the area of Spanish. So for pre-K, I would like to present the, the Spanish award to Kate Simpson. In kindergarten, Kylie Ward. I've got them all. It's okay. In pre first, Rachel Bailey. In first grade, Preston Harrison. In second grade, Cassie Callis. Third grade, Kristen Callis. And in fourth grade, Luke Green. I'm Mrs. Music and I teach art and as Mrs. Collins, Ms. Collins said, it is so difficult to pick one child per grade because I believe that we're all made in God's image and we are all create, create, um, creative. But I selected one out of every grade um, based on their attention to detail and um, their passion for art and their time on task. So for pre-K, I know that Keegan O'Brien is not here, but I'd like to recognize Keegan O'Brien in pre-K. And in kindergarten, Matthew Roachford. Um, Pre-first, Morgan Mears. In first grade, Jennifer Wynn. In second grade, Addie Couts. Third grade, Lauren Lilly. Fourth grade, Tilly McQuig.
And on April the 14th, we had Evening with the Arts. If you received any kind of a ribbon on that night, would you stand up? And I would especially like to recognize Ella Bramlett, who received the Michael Shane Neal Award. So Ella, if you'll come up here, give these students a round of applause. Good morning, I'm Kay Ostell, computer teacher. One of the special things about being a special area teacher is that we get to teach every child in this building from the four-year-olds to the fourth grade. And we get to see their growth not just from the beginning of the school year to the end of the school year, but from the time they step into this building as a four-year-old to when they leave as a fourth grader. So it is my privilege to present this year's awards too as you get older. In the pre-K Miss Hammonds class is Lawson Marks. <laughs> Not here? Oh, okay. In Miss Thompson's class, Kaysen Woods. <laughs> oh. In Miss C's class, I know he's here, Max Gregory. In Ms. Harvey's class, Emery Slack. In second grade, Jensen Cunningham. In Ms. Sanders' class, Matthew Clay. And Miss Nash, Papillon's class, Jackson Smuts. Congratulations to all you kids. My name is Lila Yinger, and we will now have some special area awards, uh, special awards for reading and spelling. First of all, thank you for visiting the library this year and checking out so many books. There were 20,160 books checked out this school year by our students. The elementary school is responsible for the greatest percentage of checkouts in the Lipscomb Academy and University combined. I would also like to announce the Crown Award winners for this school year. Our school participates in a national Christian literature program and our children voted on their favorite books along with hundreds of other children from Christian schools and churches across America. Second and third graders read the selections with me and voted for their favorites. The winners, second and third graders, are you ready? The honor book was Kindred Souls. Yay! They love that book. The winning book this year is Stay, the True Story of Ten Dogs. And did you notice they like Kindred Soul a little bit better? Um, our fourth graders read and voted on Crown Award books this year, and the winners are as follows. We had two honor books nationally. Mrs. Williamson's class, remember I read Chained? That was one of the honor books, and Wolf Storm was the other one. The winner was Missing on Superstition Mountain, and that book is an excellent read if you have not read it. Next, I have the Spelling Bee Awards. In the third grade, Spelling Bee was held yesterday with 20 students participating. If you were a participant, please walk forward, but please hold your applause until I get all 20 names read. The children in the Spelling Bee were chosen for their excellent spelling skills shown during the entire third grade year. 
Our participants were Zion Belay, Ellie Grace Bennett, Hagen Brandt, Ethan Broom, Kristen Callis, Callie Cummings, Hilton Duncan, Jack Hostetler, Kyle Jenkins, Harrison Keel, Robert Larry, Christian Lee, Reagan Locke, Presley McLean, Eli Sheehan, Andy Smith, Will Thompson, Keegan White, Lexi Williams, and Victoria Winner. Uh, now, I must tell you, I had the longest spelling bee in my 15 years of being in the light, just in the library, and it lasted a complete hour. I went through third grade spelling words, fourth grade spelling words, fifth grade spelling words. I was to sixth grade and running out of words, so congratulations. The runner up this year was Will Thompson. You may applaud for him. And the winner of the spelling bee was Ellie Grace Bennett. And if those two would come over here, I have something in addition to give you. Congratulations. Make sure you have the right. Congratulations. Okay, you can go sit down. <laughs> you can go sit down. Bye. <laughs> go away. <laughs> Now for the Accelerated Reading Awards. Personal goals here at Lipscomb are very important and congratulations to all of you for reaching personal goals. This year we will be recognizing three students per grade level who excelled for their grade level. This award includes second, third, and fourth graders. Grade level AR awards are as follows. And if I call your name, please come forward to receive your reading medal. Um, second grade AR awards go to Danny Vance with 91 AR points. Claire Welch with 93 points. and Kirian Hardy with 132 AR points for the year. Third grade AR awards go to Bennett Whitefield with 457 AR points. Awesome. Will Thompson with 573 points. And Harrison Keel, who earned 599 AR points for the year. I have one more statistic to tell you re with regards to Will and Harrison. Will and Harrison also finished in the top 10 of all the elementary and middle school children combined, and that is quite an accomplishment. And finally, fourth grade. The fourth grade AR awards go to Chloe Tomlinson with 467 AR points. JP Chaffin with 491 AR points. and Max Sweet, who earned 553 AR points for the year. Their perseverance and dedication to reading is quite an accomplishment, and they should be all very proud of their hard work. Congratulations for a job well done. are going to uh, hand out ribbons to all our fourth graders. We'll call them up a class at a time. We'll start with my class and I'll read all their names if you could hold your applause till the end and um, they'll come up here and you'll get a you'll get a little ribbon. Okay? All right, here we go. Emmy Blanford, 
Paul Kent Bramlett, Mac Brothers, Sydney Brown, Cassidy Cargill, Lena Fudge, Luke Green, Ethan Locke, Madison Long, Dawson McFarlane, Tilly McQuig, Peyton Myers, Oliver Perry, Avery Slack, Christian Staggs, Francis Tanner, Max Thweet, and Rachel Velazquez. And Miss Williamson's class, Ford Austin, Annika Beasley, Jillian Bowman, J.P. Chaffin, Trinity Fields, Sam Fisher, Kate Grogan, Seth Hagen, Apiway Harston, Izzy Jacobs, Chloe Jones, Mia King, Elijah McKnight, Allie Nixon, Gage Smith, Mason Schwigert, Keon Wright, Aubrey Blankenship, and Jackson Hyatt. And for Miss Nash and Miss Papillon's class, Kate Ag, Abby Broadway, David Choi, Ellie Daniels, Rachel Ferguson, Clayton Jenkins, Ethan Lamb, Stephanie Mobley, Jackson Schmutz, Noah Siddig, Miranda Smith, Tanner Speakman, Brooke Stevenson, Ella Thompson, Chloe Tomlinson, Coburn Walton, Garrett Warner, Valeria Westerfield, and Abby Whitman. Congratulations. Let's give one more round of applause to our seniors of the elementary school. Congratulations, fourth graders, from graduating from elementary school. Also, let's give one more round of applause to all our recipients. couple of announcements. There will be a red sheet of paper that is our awards day recipient sheet that will be available just outside these double doors. Uh, we will also email a color copy of that as well if you'd like to print one off at home. Soon after the conclusion of awards day we will have the fourth grade final walk. Students, you will be dismissed back to your classrooms in just a moment where you will line the hallways. The music will begin and the fourth graders will make their final walk through the elementary school hallways. Uh, fourth graders, uh, will you stay for just a couple minutes afterwards for pictures uh, and then you'll be the last to be released. We'll dismiss like we do for chapel teachers uh, from awards day for pre-K through third grade. Here's the last thing I want to say, two things. One, I have four requests for you this summer. The first one is, if you find yourself close to a slip and slide, don't try to walk it. You need to go as fast as you possibly can, belly first, 
head first. That's one. Two, watermelon is a seasonal fruit. Eat as much as you possibly can in the months of June and July because it won't be around real long. The third one, Dad, this is for you. Wear plenty of sunscreen. Even though you don't like it, wear plenty of sunscreen. And the last one is, have a whole lot of fun. You guys have a great and wonderful summer. And before we dismiss, let's say a prayer for the conclusion of the school year and the beginning of summer. Let's pray. Dear God, dear God in heaven, I pray that you will give us peace and rest. I pray that we will show grace and love as you have shown us grace and love. And I want to thank you for this school. I want to thank you for summer, for friends, and for Jesus. We praise your great and holy name. And it's through Jesus that we pray all these things. Amen. Have a wonderful summer.